Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. For today I started using some primer and I used the MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. It will get rid of all the redness on the eyelid. And then I'm going in with Confection Eyeshadow by Makeup Geek. It's a very light pinky purple mauve -y eyeshadow shade which is perfect to use as a transition shade since it's very light. It's slightly darker than my own skin color so it's perfect to use a shade like that as your first shade which will help you to blend all the other eyeshadows in. Now I'm going to use the shade Petal Pusher, also by Makeup Geek. And I have to say this shade looks very familiar with the Confection eyeshadow from Makeup Geek as well. But this one is slightly darker. It has that same sort of mauve undertone. And I feel like um, it comes in handy to first use a shade which is light. Then use a familiar shade which is darker. And if you do it like that you can build up the colors by going darker and darker. So I'm just going to do the same thing as I did with the Confection eyeshadow. I'm using my big fluffy brush. I'm going from the inner corner to the outer corner. I'm blending this all over the crease. Now I'm going back in with that Confection eyeshadow just to make sure that there are no harsh lines. And even though you feel like it might already look uh, well blended out, I will always suggest to go back in with that first light shade that you have used. Just to make sure that it looks even better. It always makes a sort of difference. So now I'm going to use the Morphe Brushes 35B eye palette and I'm going to use this pinky purple shade. So this shade is way darker than the other eyeshadows that I have used so I made sure to apply as tiny amount of product as possible on my brush. I just dipped my brush in the shade, I tapped off the excess product and then I'm going to gently blend this all over the crease. And when I know there wasn't as many product on the brush anymore I know I can go a little bit more rough with the brush and just blend it all over the crease. I just wanted that pinky purple undertone so that's why I did this. So now I'm going in with this purple sh bleh, with this purple shade also from the Morphe 35B eye palette. And I switched my brush into a Morphe, no not a Morphe, a Sigma E40 brush. And I'm also going to blend this in my crease. I felt like the shades were a little bit too much towards the pink side. I wanted it to be a bit more purple so that's why I'm going to blend this also in the crease. And if you're searching for new brushes or anything from Sigma I have a discount code in the description bar. It will give you 20% discount until February so if you want to use it be quick. So now I'm going in with this Aubergine eyeshadow from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm going to press this on the eyelid. The brush that I'm using is a MAC 242 brush, my favorite brush for applying shades on the eyelid. I say this in almost all my videos, but it's just basically amazing. And I'm going to use a flat blending brush and I'm going to blend this around the edges using that same Aubergine eyeshadow on it, just to make sure that I'm going to blend this also in the crease. If you feel like you're still having harsh lines, you can go back in uh, with a other shade like Confection for example and blend this around the edges. Now I'm going in with the shade Toxic by Makeup Geek and I'm going to blend this in the middle part. So I, I really make sure to keep this in the middle part. So now I'm going in with the MAC Mixing Medium Gel. This is my favorite product for applying glitters on my eyelids. And first I'm going to apply a very thin layer on the center of my eyelid. Just to make sure that there's a tiny amount of stickiness <laughs> and then I'm going to use the RXI grape glitter and oh my god this shade is so gorgeous. I just wanted to do something with glitter if you have watched my previous video I'm very in the glitter mood currently um, so I just wanted to find eyeshadows that matches with this glitter because I just wanted to use it. It's so pretty and I've never done a video with these kind of shades so I think it's so pretty. And I think it will also suit with a lot of eye colors. I think every eye color will look great with these shades. So now it's time for eyeliner and I'm going to use the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner. I used this first to create a line above my lash line and also to create the line of my wing. And then I'm going in with the NYC Liquid Liner. And I apply this on top of the line above my uh, lash line. Also I'm going to apply this on top of the Sigma wing line that I created and then I'm just going to finish my wing and I first always like to go in with a gel eyeliner and then apply a liquid liner on top of it. I just feel like this looks better when I do a glitter look 
it just makes it look more thick and more coverage if you know what I mean so I just stick to doing this like applying two layers and now to make my wing look sharper I'm going in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer I always do this whenever I create a cat wing I'm not always showing this in my videos but for today I just wanted to include this so you know how I do this I just apply a very straight line right underneath the wing line and it will make it look very clean and neat now I'm going back in with the pinky purple shade from the Morphe 35 VI palette. I'm using a flat definer brush from Sigma and I'm going to press this right underneath the lower lashes. And I'm going to apply this right in the middle and in the outer V. So I'm not going all the way to the inner corner. And I'm going in with the Aubergine eyeshadow from Anastasia. And I'm going to use that same flat definer brush from Sigma and I'm only going to press this in the outer V. I wanted a little bit darkness in the outer feet to make it look more connected with the wing. So I'm pressing this. And then I'm going to use this tiny brush with a little bit of that pinky purple shade from the Morphe 35 BI palette. To make sure that everything looks well blended out. And for the inner corner of my eye I'm going in with the Modus Cosmetics Pearl Eyeshadow. First time using this product. I wanted to go in with a very cool tone eyeshadow. Normally I pop some of the nylon eyeshadow by MAC. But that has more of a gold undertone and this is more on the cool side. And I think it suits better with the eyeshadow shades. Now for my lashes I used Anitude Sultry Lashes. I have a discount code in the description bar. And yes, this is already the end of the tutorial. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm very happy with the outcome. I think it's one of my favorite eyeshadow combinations that I have done. Let me know in the comments your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys!